following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon and looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Cadiz facing Real Madrid. Yeah, thanks Derek, looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo, who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. Well, he is so often the key that unlocks any opposing defence. Aidan Azar we're talking about, Lee. Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. The initial 11 today for the hosts. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Alvaro Odriozola starts with Marcelo in the fullback positions. Aidan Azar starts with Lucas Vasquez in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Nordbite. Alcala. And in possession, Fernandez. Couldn't keep it. Luka Jovic. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. And he might be through here. And the ball is loose. Steered out of play and a throw in coming up. Marcelo. Lucas Vasquez waits. I can tell you that someone has found the net in the match being played at the Mastaya. Who exactly? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Atletico Madrid. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And Real doing well to win it back. Now he must favour the cross. Well, he seemed to catch it on the wrong part of his head. Well, everybody's disappointed, none more so than the manager. Just look at him. So here's the table and a very rosy picture being painted as regards Levante. Not that everyone was in tune with that. I don't think anybody expected them to be top at this point, but you can definitely see why they are. Pretty solid at the back, pretty decent up front. Their form's good. The manager's got them all playing for each other. They're a really terrific side this season. He has time to play it over. Firing it towards goal. It could be up for grabs. Real Madrid are looking to improve upon their last performance. A draw against Real Betis. How do you expect this game to go, Lee? Well, attacks on top, to be honest with you. A stalemate at 2-2. But I've got a feeling they'll do a lot better today. I'm going to predict a win. And the cross into the middle.
Azar. And now here's Aiden Azar. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. The opening goal of the game, then. Gol del Madrid. Con el 21, Odegaard. Immaculately placed by Casemiro. And it all counts for naught. And a strong tackle. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. He's played it short here. Crossing opportunity. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Now the delivery, just couldn't capitalise there. It is to be a throw-in. Nordbeit. Casemiro acquitting himself magnificently to win it back. Alex Fernandez. Well, a penalty in one of the other matches, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Atletico Madrid. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. OK, what a chance to score. Can he? Can he keep his nerve? Yes, he can. Drills it into the top left-hand corner. 30 minutes played, 2-0. Many thanks, Alan. Keeper did his job to begin with, attending to his defensive chores. Casemiro. Well, that's not textbook defending. Isco. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Not the pass he had in mind. And he's through here. Is it going to be? Clean through he was then. But he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. Casemiro. Eder Militao. It's with Erdogan. Is it going to be? And up for grabs off the keeper. Will he? And a goal! 
They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here's the replay, Derek, and the defensive coach will be all over this one. Shocking defending. There's so much time for the strikers. That can't be right. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Well, a second goal for them here. Marca el Madrid. Con el 18, Jovic. Very clever read, Casemiro. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Casemiro lost the ball. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely ball into the box. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game and giving the defenders headaches, Lee. Well, his movement is so good. You can see why he causes defenders so much trouble and a goal to boot as well. Now he must favour the cross. And now here's Aiden Azar. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. What? Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. And up for grabs off the keeper. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. And the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 from Real. Can they repeat that in the second half? Martin Odegaard. 
Odrio Zola. Lucas Vasquez. He's played it over to the near post. And it's gone behind for the corner. Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up front, Lee. Well, he's been a little bit safe today. He's not risked anything. That's not good enough. That's why they're behind in this game. Sometimes you've just got to take a little chance. Go for it. Now the delivery, it hasn't come to very much. Played into the centre of the box. He succeeds in clearing it. Another La Liga treat in store for you soon on EA TV. It's Cadiz and they take on Huesca. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. It's a weighted pass, and a chance for him on the flank. That is goalkeeping of the highest order, and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post, it's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Lucas Vasquez, and that is offside. What can Real do from this position? Lucas Vasquez failed to hold it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid facing Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yeah, cup football has its own special atmosphere for me. Mistakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Half an hour remaining then. Jose Mari. And a change to the scoreline at the Mestalla. A goal there. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Atletico Madrid. 62 minutes played. 3-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. It looks promising. Well, the pass not finding its target. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Well, he's lost the ball. And it's a quality pass. Oh, surely. Oh, that is extraordinary. True athleticism to make contact in that fashion. And it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, roll the replay again and again and again. You won't get sick of seeing this. What a lovely finish. A chance to revisit the goal.
And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Con el 22, Isco. Creative look about this. Might really appeal to Isco. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. It might be on for them. And in with a real chance. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Cambio en el Madrid. Esto se anima a descansar a la banda con el 6, Nacho. Entrará en su lugar con el 5, Barán. Over it comes. It comes to absolutely nothing. Alex Fernandez. He's managed to lose his marker. Azar. Attacking possibilities for Real. Into the center by Azar. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Azar. Isco. Gives it a go, and denied by the keeper. Impressive. Sale del partido con el 12, Bodiguer. Entrará en el terreno de juego con el 14, Iván Alejo. And he's fired over the corner. A goal! Attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box, and he gets up for the header. And quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Sanchez. Oh, getting the ball forward. Kala. And Nordweit has it. Alcala. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Losing possession here. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And a chance, Udegaard! And thumped away. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Now well, the pass not finding its target. 
Luka Jovic. Given away by Real Madrid. Well, they've given him too much space. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Defended well. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. Lee, how did you see their performance? Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun and have a lovely attacking style about them. Clinical finishing today as well. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful. Now he must favour the cross. And now here's Aiden Azar. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. And up for grabs off the keeper. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. And it's a quality pass. Oh, surely. Oh, that is extraordinary. True athleticism to make contact in that fashion. And it's one of the... Gives it a go. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And he's fired over the corner.